Scud attack. Ha <laughs> ha. We're getting attacked by scuds. That's a major problem if you are a person or any living thing. This is Scud attack from uh, around 1998, I guess, by PLBM Games. Or as I always called it when I was younger, Plubum. There is no easy way to pronounce this company's name, and I never knew what it stood for. Pancakes love bloody marbles, pimple-licking beef magnets, who knows? All I know is that it was accompanied by one dude, one awesome guy, who put out tons of shareware back in the 90s and early 2000s for PCs as well as Palm OS later, and that is Kurt Decker. This is notable because it was way past the prime of shareware for MS-DOS, so it was pretty cool to still see somebody making this stuff and putting it out for free, and also having some commercial software as well. Mr. Decker made a ton of games back when he was making games like Island Hopper, Submarine Fury, Ack Ack Attack, Hyper Tank. But of course what we're going to be looking at here is probably my favorite, at least of those that I have played, and that is... Scud Attack. Attack. I like that cheesy announcer. He always was in my mind the same exact announcer that was in One Must Fall 2097 at the beginning of the match. Round 1. Fight. Fight. Maybe he is. Maybe this is the aftermath of the robot arena battles in 2097. Who knows? Who cares? This is a Missile Command clone using VGA graphics, Sound Blaster sound, and computers. Yes, you need a computer to play this computer game. The idea behind the game is super simple. If you've played Missile Command, the idea is to command your missiles. Much like a session of impromptu stage acting, there are lines coming at you constantly. These lines are composed of scud missiles. Very scary Soviet-era stuff. And it is your job to defend your cities along the bottom of the screen with your own missiles, your anti-ballistic Patriot missile batteries. You have three along the bottom of the screen, one in the left, the right, and the middle. You can control the game with a keyboard, but that is for stupid people without a mouse. Who doesn't have a mouse? Mouse users, which is everyone, use the mouse to control the game. Each mouse button does the exact same thing. It just shoots whichever missile happens to be closest to the incoming Scud missiles. In the arcade original, you could control which missile you fire. This just does it automatically. You can actually use the one, two, and three keys on your keyboard for more strategic effectiveness. But I usually just click because it's easier and I'm pretty lazy when I'm playing this game. If a missile happens to get past your defenses, chances are it will nuke one of your cities or even one of your own missile defenses, which leaves you defenseless. There's a chance that it will not hit anything at all, but such a chance is not very high. Of course, the point is to last as long as possible, gaining the highest score as possible, and if you lose some cities along the way, you can actually get additional cities for every 10,000 points that you earn. Once you lose all your cities, it is, just like Missile Command, incredibly depressing, and everything blows up. And keeps blowing up. And still blows up for a while. Okay, okay, seriously, that's enough. That's... Okay, that's enough. Alright, uh, yeah, that's good. You can input your name into the high score table and play again, and again, and again, and again. And that is what this is. A game that you play repeatedly if you want to. If you don't, then that's just okay, because this is one of those that you just come back to maybe every so often and just say, Hey, I would like to defend my cities against missiles with missiles. It's no missile command, it just doesn't compare to the arcade original in my opinion, for a few reasons. It doesn't have quite as much crap flying around on the screen, it's not quite as frantic, not quite as smooth. But that's okay. For a shareware DOS game made by one dude in his spare time, it's well done, and I can appreciate that. I had only played it on the Atari 2600 at that point, and this is a lot better than that version in my opinion, so it was awesome, I liked it. You can find this game pretty easily just searching Google. In fact, it's made freeware now. Ever since March of 2007, Kurt Decker made all of his old DOS games freeware. So just look around. I'll probably put a link in the video description for a current version of the full game. Although it's worth noting, this isn't the only DOS game named Scud Attack. 
Yeah, there was actually one in 1991 by David Lee Peterson. It pretty much sucks. Really, it's it's not any good. It's barely anything at all like Missile Command. Its sequel, Scud Attack 2 from 1993, was pretty awesome though. It had much, much more in common with the arcade Missile Command game, although it's still a bit slow, uh, clunky compared to Scud Attack. So I would recommend Scud Attack over Scud Attack because Scud Attack is just a better game. Of course, I would recommend Missile Command over any of these, but that's just, that's getting obvious and more obvious than being obvious at the moment, which is what I am doing. And I am rambling, so I'm going to stop this review right here. Scud Attack from Plubum Games. It's an awesome game that has nothing to do with potatoes.